my last video, I mentioned that I had um, been to a yard sale and I sourced 37 items. And I don't know if you noticed, I didn't notice, but I did not share 37 items. I only figured out later when I was putting it on my spreadsheet that I was missing 10 items. <laughs> One of the bags never made it into my car. Wait, it gets better, it gets worse. Okay, so it's Sunday morning. I decide I'm gonna go over there and see if he's open for business. He is, and the bag is still there. He said he, he didn't know specifically that it was mine, but that he, figured someone had left it he'd set it aside so that was good news and while I was there I did more shopping so that's what I'm going to share with you today is the rest of what I got but then I forgot something again ah I'm so upset with myself it was a pair of black fry boots um I know just somebody else might buy them so anyway I'm really frustrated about that because I really wanted those boots I was even thinking if they were my size maybe I'd keep them but I don't know they had a heel. So, uh, weekend. Uh, so the first four items I'm going to show you were probably a mistake. But as I mentioned, I get swept up in the whole thing. And I end up bringing things home that I'm sorry about. Uh, this is a fur coat. It's the only one that's real fur. It's Rich Furs Detroit. Rich Furs Dietrich Detroit. It's not in great condition. Look at that. Um, I almost feel like I can stitch this roughly, um, you know, and then the, the lighting has a few open spots. And I mean, it was really stupid because my mom has a fur coat that I haven't sold yet and I haven't listed. So I really don't need any more of them. But I was actually thinking, I had read that um, animal rescues like to have these because um, like animals that have lost their mother find comfort snuggling into real fur. So I thought, oh, you know, I, maybe I could look into that and donate it. Because I'm pretty sure this is real. Yeah, it's got to be. You, you can see it on the inside. It's the only one that's real, though. The others are... It's got someone's name on it. I'm looking. I assume this is mink. Anyway, it's beautiful. The outside is in excellent condition. As far as I can tell. There's no like bald spots or anything. All right, the next three I have discovered are fake, um, but they're really good fakes. And I, I'd say vintage. So this is Goldwaters. I don't know where Goldwaters is, but that appears to be a palm tree in the logo. And it looks very real. where the price tag was it feels very real too it's so cool and it's in perfect condition the lining is perfect um it's monogrammed i thought at first that it would be real but the tag and the tag says specialist care well then it says 100 percent bemberg so all I could find on Benberg was nothing to do with fur, but that it's a rayon. So I'm going with fake on this, but still I think it's probably very expensive. I mean, who would monogram a cheap, you know, fun fur coat? Ugh. Oh boy. Those two are gonna be a pain anyway to ship. This is, the brand is Pamela McCoy. Also, feels real. But I'm trying to remember why I assumed this was not. Maybe because it doesn't say it is. This is a shorter, shiny black coat. Short coat, jacket, whatever. The brand is, maybe that's how I knew by the brand. It's Tiger Mills, yeah, Pile Acrylic and Moda, Moda Acrylic. Yeah, the standard of luxury in faux furs. Curious if this is um, vintage. I'll have to look it up. 
I wonder if there's a risk of being ostracized if you wear something that's fake fur but looks very real. And then this one is, the brand is Olympia. This is definitely vintage. Yeah, 100% mode acrylic. Made in USA. So pretty. Um, the shipping's gonna be kind of a pain in the neck, but otherwise, uh, you know, I, I should be able to make a few bucks on them, not like a huge amount. Um, okay, now into the clothes. Okay, it's just piled up here because I dumped everything out to see if the boots were somehow in the bag and in they weren't. I hope I don't lose sleep over that. I lose sleep over things like that. I, I really do. I don't know this brand, B-A and S-H. I feel like I've seen it in videos, but I've never heard that it's a particularly good brand. I chose not to look it up just because I thought it was cute. And I thought I would like to try a new brand. It feels, hmm, I don't know. I don't think it's silk. Though it has a almost raw silk feeling to it. I'm looking at the tag. Oh, it is, it's 100% silk. Okay, that's good. I'll have to look at that. I thought about, I thought about comp, actually looking at comps on that one before I picked it up, but it's just really, I just didn't want to. I didn't want to be bothered. This is Zenergy by Chico's. I don't know if it's, I picked up I think three Chico's things. Um, I don't know, maybe it's because I've been seeing all that expensive Chico that I'm like, oh, cheap Chico, let me get it. Size three, it's a bigger size too, so I like that. And it's a mixed, mixed print uh, tunic top. Be great for the spring. Size three is, I don't know what, whether that would be extra large, maybe. All right, this is, the brand is David Whitney, original from, no, Brad Whitney. Where did I get David from? Carmel by the Sea, California. Dry clean only. It doesn't actually say, I don't think it says where it was made. Um, just because it says Carmel by the Sea doesn't mean it was made in Carmel by the Sea. I'm looking at the inside pocket to see if there's any information there. There is not. And there's no information in the outside pockets. But I bought it because I thought it was kind of cool. It has this neat lining with little design. What is that design? They're trees. They're almost like the Timberland trees. Can you see it? I've got this, the phone on like a box and I'm afraid of hitting it. I'm trying to have less of those technical difficulties I have had. Oh, and it is wiggling. Anyway, it's just a nice corduroy jacket, wide whale. It's got the, some nifty details, like a little gap there. It's just for design. It's sort of like a pleat. And it's in the back too. See? Two of them. Yeah, I, I don't know if you'd exactly call it a pleat, but I don't know how else to describe it. So we're gonna call it a pleat. Okay, this was from the bag I left, so I really don't remember what it was. Chico's. Size three also, just a red hoodie. Is that embroidered? Yes, it's embroidered, red on red embroidery. Mm. Okay, this is Joseph A. Bank. Bank, yeah. Um, I don't know if that's a, nationwide store. I know we have them here in Las Vegas. And I had a Joseph A. Bank leather jacket that sold first uh, full price pretty quickly. Um, I mean, not that this is anything like that, but I, so I don't really know whether, you know, the brand, whether people want the brand or not, 
or they just liked that jacket. Was it a leather jacket? Yeah, pretty sure. Anyway, this is a size large and it's 100% silk and it has a nice pattern. So all those things made me decide to buy it and curious to see if something else by Joseph A. Bank would also sell, like whether Joseph A. Bank is a good name. Okay, these are men's REI like hiking pants. Oh, look, they're the kind that you can convert into shorts. That's a zipper there. I'm checking the elastic, because I assumed they were big, and then it occurred to me that maybe the elastic is out, but it isn't out. So I think they're just big. The tag is, oh, okay. Extra, extra large, 36 long, UP, UPF 50 plus. They do not have a drawstring or anything, so they're just a, a regular straight fit on the bottom. Oh, but they have a zipper there. They have a zipper there. And the zipper goes all the way up to this zipper. That's interesting detail, I think. What do you think? Uh... This is Max Studio Weekend. Not a particularly good brand, but it was so, I don't know. It's a, it's a, it was, it'd be a great like swimsuit cover up. It's got that nautical, those nautical stripes. It's long, it's got a drawstring hood. Pockets. That was a style-based pickup. Ow, I have something in my eye. All right. Oh, this is a really cool men's jacket. The brand is, is there a brand on it? Professionally dry clean, made in USA. Oh, I know, the brand was here. The brand is Silverado, made in USA. Look at that. It's that, like, rhinestone cowboy western look. This is just soft, like, um, it's almost fleecy, but smoother. But it feels like fleece. I thought this was very cool. Uh, I could see, like, Chris Isaac wearing that. Maybe have, 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 have somebody bedazzle it first. All right, this is an unusual dress. I bought it because I thought the tag was kind of cool. Give me a minute to find the tag. I had to search. It wasn't easy to get to. Well, it's got the union, the union label there. And where is the tag? Okay. Uh, let me just, show, oh, wait, I see it now. It, the brand is Jack Sloat Las Vegas. So it is vintage Las Vegas. It's completely, is it completely sheer? Yeah. So I don't know how you would wear this. It's completely sheer at the top. Oh, that's the back. So it's got this opening at the back and the front's like that. This is gonna be a tough sell. I probably shouldn't have bought this. So completely sheer, but the skirt, oh no it isn't. Oh, all right, that makes it much better. Okay. <sighs> Bear with me. I know this is a long video, but look at that. So. It's got the under layer, and then this is micro pleats, I suppose. It feels like a, an organza, chiffon maybe. That's really cool. I don't know what size it is. Don't, don't make me look for that. Uh, this jacket, 
Made in USA leathers by New England, but it feels like faux suede to me. But it doesn't, it smells like, okay, so when I was young, I had a buckskin coat. And I also had a big piece of sheepskin that was just like rough cut um, that I had, I don't know, in my bedroom. Um, the buckskin coat was long and navy blue. It had fur running all the way down and then around the bottom and then around the um, hood. Don't judge me, it's very cold there. You need warm coats and somehow, I don't know, we must have had family in the business or something because we got deals on things like the buckskin coat or the sheepskin coat. I wish I still had that buckskin coat. What happened to that buckskin coat? All I know is like, I remember one time wearing it and I had cut my hair short briefly and I, I stopped doing that because everybody thought I was a boy. And somebody said something to my mom about me being her son and I'm just thinking, what boy is gonna wear this she, this buckskin coat? This is like a girl's coat, very girl's coat. But anyway, it's not as clear anymore, I know. So it's just a uh, short jacket, a great color. It very much smells like sheepskin to me, but there's no fur, of course. Let's see what it says. New England Sportswear Company, attention cleaner, leather clean only. So I guess it's leather, suede. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna wanna try this on. Oh, here's another leather jacket. Calvin Klein jeans. I thought, seem to recall, let's see. I was thinking that I, it was vintage, no. No, maybe not. I'm confusing this with something else, but it's just a nice. Oh, I thought it was men's, but it's women's. It's a woman's because the buttons are on the left. Leather jacket. Car coat length. Size XL. I guess that's why I thought it was a man's because it just looked big. I'm like, oh, look, a big man's leather jacket. Okay. Oh, be right back. One bag. So let's keep going. When I get to the last bag, I'll pause. I don't know this brand, Diane Gilman, size large, but it's 100% silk and very pretty. I know that the boots aren't in the other bag because that's the bag that I, the bag that I haven't opened is the one that I had forgotten to bring home yesterday. Ugh, I'm such an idiot. Okay, this has to be vintage. Look at those. Yeah, this, this is vintage. It's, uh, Chartreuse. I always get confused by chartreuse because as I remember when I first sort of learned the word chartreuse, I thought it sounded like it would be purple, but it was green. And then I now I get confused whether I really thought it was green, but it sounds purple. It's green, so it must sound purple. I still remember the first time really knowing that word. I think it was from Herbie the Love Bug. He's driving down and his and and uh, there's like smoke spewing out of it and it's chartreuse. I know that's weird. You might as well know that. Torrid, size three, just a uh, sort of t-shirty. Is it a dress or is it a romper? No, it's a dress. Well, actually it's maybe more of a tunic. No, I think it's a dress. Well, Tim Gunn says if you have to ask if it's a dress or a top, it's always a top. But but in this case, it's not my size. You know, it's very large, so it's harder to tell for me to tell. Because on me, it would be long enough to be a dress because I'm not taking up as much space in it. So it would hang further. I don't know what I'm trying to say. This is a... Bass sweater, size large. I bought it because it had a unique feature, and that is, what was it? Oh, well, there's a hood, which is nice, and I didn't, don't think I even knew that it had a hood. I just liked this. Whee! Thought that was fun, and it feels good. Okay. What is this? I can't believe I even bought this. I didn't mean to buy this. 
Oh, maybe I did. Oh, it's J. Jill and it's extra large. And I always hear J. Jill does okay in bigger sizes. Um, but it, it's Pima, perfect Pima. So it's, it's, uh, 100% Pima cotton. So it's just a red turtleneck. I thought, you know, being a larger size J. Jill and being Pima cotton, maybe that would be worth something. I bought this because I thought it was a strange that it would be this brand. What do we have here? We, base, we just have a flannel plaid shirt. Very basic, right? It's Diane von Furstenberg. I would never have guessed that this was Diane von Furstenberg. Size large, 100% cotton. I'm like, ah, who would have thought it? I'm going to buy it. Um, I bought this because it's cute. It's cachet, size 8. Made in Hong Kong. I'm going to think, I'm going to assume this is uh, vintage. But it's just a little denim skirt. That fading is, I'm quite certain, wait. I'm not sure how this gets worn. Uh, the fading is obviously, I would say, part of the design, especially because it feels very sturdy, like it's new. I thought it was unusual and cute. And now I believe it's vintage. Uh, another Chico's, 100% leather. So this is suede, size three, also sort of chartreuse -y. This is, I don't know, this is very snot green. I will likely not call it snot green, but snot green it is. It's a jacket that's sort of shaped like a shirt. Um, this is Affliction, size 2XL. Cool design. Throw it in my bag. Uh, pink size small with the spell out got a little that going on there and then it's mesh at the top that was, that's i guess what we'd consider the bread and butter purchases this is also polo by ralph lauren i i've been picking that up lately i liked it kind of a pullover sweater it's got the little polo pony on it it's a sort of shawl collar here thing going on here. Those are loops for the buttons. So you can wear it up. Hmm. You can wear it buttoned and then I guess you'd fold this over. I think that would be annoying. And last, before I open the, the bag from yesterday, this is, the brand is also Joseph A. Bank. I bought this because not only is it a good basic men's sports jacket, but it's 100% camel hair. Made in Haiti. Haiti. Hmm. Um, I'm trying to see if there's a size on it. Probably where it's where the tag is. Yeah, 42 long, 100% camel hair. It feels really good. All right, I gotta open one more bag. Ten items. This is Sundance. It's a red, sort of trucker style jacket. It's lighter weight than a jean jacket, and boy, oh boy, is it ever wrinkled. Size PXL, so petite, extra large. Doesn't look that big. I wonder what the fabric is. It feels like it could have linen in it. That's 100% linen. That's interesting. I think that should do well. Um, I don't know what the brand is on this, but I liked it. Oh, 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 wait. It's Obermeyer. Size 16 Juniors. Is that nice? I think it's really nice. It's back. Style 
file name Taylor Jacket. Okay. Oh my God, where am I supposed to put all this stuff? I think what I need to do is list more than five items a day for a while until I catch up on all this, especially if I'm gonna go back next weekend. Okay, Lands End Men's Tall Extra Large. Just like an anorak jacket, I guess you call it. It's got a quilted lining in blue and it's green on the outside. A little bit dusty. Uh, I'm still so bummed about those boots. I hate when I do stupid things and then I just keep doing them. Okay, this is Oscar de la Renta. I'm sure this is vintage. It's missing this tag, so I don't have size or anything on it. So this might have been a questionable purchase, but it's a modest length. I'd say wool pleated skirt. I will try it on. On the bright side of it not having a size tag, like if it has a size tag, and like this is probably a 12 in vintage sizing and then maybe a six in current sizing. But when the tag says 12, I feel obligated to list it as a 12, but then I, I note that it's small. Well, since this one do doesn't have a size tag, I am going to say what size I think it fits and says so based on measurements, this is the size, there is no size tag. So in some ways that's helpful. Uh, these pants are Pilcro on the letterpress size 28 they call it number 28. i have sold a pair of pilcro and a press pants so i figured i'd dry them again these are these have some weird hmm no these have some very bizarre fading this might be another mistake Now I'm thinking, maybe, well, it's got it in a few places, so maybe it's supposed to be that way. It appears to be, uh, doesn't have a style name or something. It's the Fit Serif, Serif, S-E-R-I-F. Isn't that like a font? Anyway, it looks like it's got, it's skinny, it's got zippers there. And see the discoloration like it looks like it was in the sun but there appears to be some in another place too that's the most pronounced though i'm just going to have to disclose it uh you know make sure you see the pictures that you know it's got that that color variation that may or may not be factory produced Pair of men's shorts, Calvin Klein jeans, waist 34, new with tag. They were originally $69.50, then they went on sale for $54.99. The color is oyster, new oyster, excuse me. Uh, but anyway, just a good basic cargo short. Um, Austin Reed London. I don't know this brand, but I like a denim shirt. So it's got a little Western flair. It's got the like pearl snaps, but they're, well, depending on how you look at it, they're diamond shaped or they're square. They're really square. Cause a diamond would be more, but anyway, they're, they're askew making them look diamondy. I thought it had, that was a really, really good details. I'm gonna, I'm interested to look up that brand and see what I can find out about it. I think we down to two items and then I will whine one more time about the boots and that will be that. This is J. Crew size large, it's 100% linen. That's why I bought it. It's a good, uh, it's a good linen color. It's kind of oatmeal or wheat, wheat. Um, buttons on the left. So I think this, no collar, this will be a good, I can throw in the leg and look word on this because if you, you know, you could definitely wear this loosely over some like wide leg linen pants and that would be the look, the look of lagging. And then another Mac Studio, huh, extra large. I think I bought this because I liked it. Well, it's Mac Studio. I would always buy it only because I liked it. Um, so it's, Kind of a, 
I don't know what you'd call that. First, I was going to say drop waste, but there's no real waste. But it gives a, I don't know, it's, it's interesting. It's not a peplum. It's just some fabric. And then it's, it's longish. You know what? I think it's a maxi with lots of stretch. And I think, sorry, I thought I sold something, but I didn't. Um, I don't know. It's an extra large. Probably 100% polyester. Well, it's polyester with 5% spandex. So that is it. Uh, so you see, I got a ton of stuff. Um, I'm still upset about the boots. Please, 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 please. Keep your fingers crossed that I'll get those boots back. Um, and otherwise, I will be following this up probably. This is it from that yard sale, but I am going back on Saturday. So I'll have another video at some point. I, I'm just going to be scattering these around because I'm, you know, this is the third one I've recorded in two days. So uh, subscribe, hit the like button, hit the bell, and uh, say hi in the comment section if you feel like it. All right, let me know what you liked. Bye-bye now. Did you think we were done? <laughs> I just had to pop on real quick to say I went back through my car and I found the boots. Ah, I'm so glad. Okay, here they are, real quick. These are Fry boots. They must have been there yesterday when I went and I didn't even look at them. But look, they're that like over the knee kind. You won't be able to see it in there, but the fry and the fry thing is in there. Uh, I wonder if it, if there's a size that I can read because I'd really, I kind of like to keep these. I don't see a size. Let's see if there's one on the other boot. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I can't see it. Hang on one second. I think there are nine. It's hard to read. It's not faded, it's just the position, so I need to put a flashlight on it, but I tried them on and they fit me. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Anyway, this has gone on too long. I just had to pop back in to do this because I was so annoyed with myself and I feel much better now. Bye-bye.